Hey guys, Alex here, and welcome to the garage. Today, we're going to be taking apart this microwave. So, one of my first videos showed uh, pictures from when I was in Lake Red Sun, Wisconsin. And we had a camper, and this microwave was in said camper. Now, this is just a normal Panasonic microwave. It's really old. It just uh, suddenly stopped working, and we had to get a new one because we were selling it in a few days. So because we were done using the camper while our house was being built. And when this stopped working, my first thought was, wow, I get a lot of scrap metal from the top. Honestly, that was my first thought. And then I realized, this is a lot of other electrical components inside of it that I might be able to use. So I definitely wanted to snag this from the garbage um, instead of having it end up in a landfill or something. So yeah, and since I absolutely adore time lapses, I'm going to be time lapsing this using my trusty camera stand, which is actually just a vise that I borrowed from my drill press, or the drill press that's over there. And that's about it. This, uh, the rest of this is basically that, which is just some electrical connections. Nothing really too interesting there. A bunch of random wires. And just basically metal that has God knows how many years of crud inside it, on it. Inside of it. The thing is, this was built into the uh, to the wall in the camper, and it says on top, "Not for built-in installation." That that's kind of hilarious. And that I couldn't figure out how to get out, so just leave it in that there. Interesting things that I found inside of it. That's my screw bin, by the way was this, which I'm going to further take apart. Good lord, that's weird looking. I think that's the transformer. I have no idea, and I don't know what's inside of it. So I'm going to wait till much later to take that apart. Found a light socket. Found, I think this is a fuse, I'm not sure though. Yeah, it's a fuse. Then I found this, which is very odd electrical motor. Seeing as the stator, which is the outside, is incredibly large and odd shaped. I haven't seen it with a coil on it. And I cannot identify which one's the positive and negative. I tried it with a battery, both wires on both sides and stuff. And then that's the uh, rotor in the middle. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to get this thing working again. I took it apart, and now I can't get it working. So, and then there's this, which appears to be a heat sink. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's a heat sink, or what I can read, so. Yeah, that's the only interesting stuff I found in there. And there's... This, which is just going to go in my circuit board spin. There's really nothing interesting on that. Uh, this stuff is stuff that may possibly be useful. I don't exactly think this is going to be very useful because it's... It is metal, but it's full of holes and crap. And this is the glass dish from inside. I don't exactly particularly think this is useful. I'm just saving this to throw away somewhere where I won't cut myself when I empty the trash. Now this, now this part is really the part that's going to be very useful because it's a large quantity of scrap metal. And I know I already have a lot of it over here, but I don't have very much of it, it's just in a, a sheet like this. Which seems to be very useful for one of my upcoming projects. 
And then there's this, which I wanted to get the spring out of this, but I couldn't figure out how. And honestly, I think I might just end up cracking this thing open with a hammer. So, seems to be a pretty good spring, so. So that's about it for this. Um, if I end up taking that transformer apart today, I'll put that part of the video in here. Uh, yeah, that's about it. This is by Alex from Alex Plays Life, and I'm out. See you guys next time. So, uh, I tried taking apart the transformer. I don't know if this is actually, in fact, the transformer. This may be the thing that emits the radio waves, but I have no idea. Or, uh, microwaves, or whatever the heck kind of waves this thing uses. I think I'm just gonna kind of give up here and put this in my museum of random crap. Because, yeah, this took me quite a while, and it was very hard. I had to take the wire cutters, put the tips in the holes, and then squeeze really hard for a while. And then eventually they'd break, so. Yeah, and I'm not sure what this is. That stuff doesn't look very friendly to uh, use a hammer on. I feel that it would, I don't know. Just doesn't look like something you should smash with a hammer. So, yeah, I'm kind of giving up on that. <sighs> so, guys, this has been Alex from Alex Plays Life, and I'm out. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so through some creative engineering in my, like, 20 minutes of spare time I have today, um, I'm cutting up this thing. I know I said I wouldn't do that, but then I realized there's two really big circular magnets in there that I could use. So on my creative engineering, I can just get this part here with one hand. Um, I've been cutting into this a little bit with what I can with this, and I put that in the vise, and then I start spinning the vise. And so far, that's how much I have left. And then I probably would need to do the other side, but, you know, I'm not sure about this stuff. So, I'll check back with you guys in a little while. I don't know if this thing is radioactive, so just a warning next time I might have five thumbs, three toes, and seven heads. Now, that's what we're talking about. Just finished using these in the vise to cut this. Made a nice cut along there, and uh, this the ca the casing for this is actually a little hinge thing there. Well, not exactly a hinge, but I'm gonna to try and get that off in a few minutes. But this thing, I think this might actually be gold, seeing as gold is extremely conductive, and it does have a bit of weight to it. In case you can't see, it's a weird metal thread or something. I'm not sure what that is, so. Let's see here. Okay, I can rotate the magnet so it looks like it's a little loose. Yeah, I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Okay. I've gotten one of the ginormous magnets off. It's about as thick as my thumb-ish. And then... Here's the case. I needed to cut the wires on top to get the the innards out, which is this. But there's another ginormous magnet on it. And then there's that. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. I'll test for other magnetic things in here, but as far as I'm aware, there's only two. 
So, uh, yeah. Okay, another news update. I got both magnets out. And they just snapped together a minute ago, and it was very hard to get them apart. So, uh, yeah. They don't look like neodymium magnets, because I have a few right here, and they're all shiny. These are neodymium magnets, rare earth magnets. And, uh... Yeah, those do not look like those. So as an end result, we have this amazing piece of metal. I'm just kidding. So as an end result, we have uh, we have this weird looking thing. I'm not going to take this apart any further. I already tested it. There's nothing else magnetic in it. So uh, it's going in the WTF bin. The what the fudge bin. Because, yeah, I have no clue what to do with that stuff. So, yeah, this is actually kind of heavy, and it looks like a sort of metallic thread. Not sure if the camera will focus in. No, it doesn't look like it will, but, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Now, the reason gold would be in a microwave, and what also makes me think that that was a transformer, in fact... Or something to do with what, EM wave generation is that magnetic is extremely conductive. It was it's one of the most conductive uh, metals on the planet, uh, as far as I'm aware. Well, it's one of the most conductive elements, as far as I'm aware. There might be other more conductive substances like, uh, well, superconductors, for example. But yeah, that's a bit sciencey for this video. So, this has been Alex, and I will see you guys next time.